Yalla Hey guys, I am taking you on a crazy adventure, definitely my most crazy adventure yet and probably my most important and it is my journey for getting surgery. I don't feel like I need to go too much into the details of why I'm getting surgery because I've talked a lot about it a lot in my previous two videos, but essentially I am getting a intramedullary rod tibial surgery. I think I said that right? Ugh. And it's because I've been dealing with a non-healing tibial grade 4 stress fracture for over nine months now. Um, and at this point, your girl is just desperate to get running back to get dancing back just to get my life back I just want to get health happiness just all of these things that I've definitely had in these past nine months like I've had a lot of really happy moments and uh, a lot of healthy moments too but you know it's really hard to fully enjoy life to its fullest potential when every single step that you take is shooting pain. Um, especially when you're a person like me who loves to have an active lifestyle and specifically as a collegiate distance runner. So anyways, I'm very grateful to be getting this surgery and quick little tangent, I was supposed to get this surgery this morning. It's actually also my first day of my senior year of college. So I had to leave college yesterday on the ride home. Big miscommunication between my insurance and my doctors, blah, blah, blah. I won't bore you with the details on my Instagram, but I didn't think I was gonna be able to get the surgery, which was a uh, emotional roller coaster, if you can imagine. And up until five hours ago, I had no clue whether or not I'd be getting the surgery that was gonna ultimately get me my life back. So shout out to my doctor for fighting for me and for getting me this procedure. I know it's going to be a painful one. I've had surgery before and uh, yeah, the first week is really bad, but as wise people have said to me before, the physical pain of surgery is always so much less than the emotional pain that comes with a long-term injury. So I'm ready to just get this period out of my life and to just embark on this new journey with a metal shin. <laughs> so it's actually the night before I'm getting the surgery tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. Uh, I have to be at the hospital at 5.30 in the morning, but you can't eat or drink before your surgery and knowing myself, I'm going to be very out of it all tomorrow morning. So I figured I'd film this little intro the night before when I'm more competent, I guess that's the word. But yeah, I just had my last meal, sipping some beam and just trying to get some sleep before the big day tomorrow. Three little warnings about this video. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to film like actually in the hospital. So um, apologies in advance if it's pretty choppy. Two, I doubt I'm going to be using my nice camera and I don't even know if that's allowed. So I might might be having my um, iPhone video footage, so it might be lower quality. And then third, I'm not allowed to wear any makeup or like I'm going to be really out of it. So uh, apologies in advance for my uh, physical appearance. So at this point, all I can do is get some sleep and get ready for the big day tomorrow. I'll see you guys in the morning. It is 4.43 in the morning. Fucking demons. I'm exhausted. Little fit chick. Gotta wear big comfy clothes, guys. Shout out Mrs. Brown for the surgery socks. Overnight bag packed. Yes, I have a stuffed animal. Let's get to the hospital. Made it to pre-op. Time to change. Kinda tippy. <laughs> little, little big. I'm gonna go hang around in the pre-op room, but uh... I guess this is where I say goodbye to you guys and uh, goodbye to my regular shin. It's time to be a bionic babe, I guess, with my metal shin. Let's see you on the side. Four hours later. We did it, boys. I'm so happy. <laughs> So how big are the Greek yogurts? Are they just like Greek yogurt cups? Can I please have two vanilla Greek yogurt cups? Uh, can I please have um, cereal, Cheerios? And then can I also please have the mixed fruit? Okay, but can I have utensils please? Okay, thank you. 
Mm-hmm. You gotta take it easy. Yeah. Okay. Am I allowed to hop or would you prefer like... I would say don't hop. Okay. Okay. Four hours later. Hi guys, so some life updates. It is currently 7.30 p.m. and I've spent the last five hours just chilling in my little room, if that's what you want to call it. I've had something to eat for lunch, as you just saw, and yeah, they have me on pain meds. I'm all hooked up to this like machine that's like giving me liquids and um, other things, but I'm feeling just really grateful to be here and to have been past the surgery. I also had my dad come visit and my mother, so that was really nice and always makes me laugh. And my care staff here has been incredible. I'm very grateful for that. I got to brush my teeth and do my makeup and just like wash my face, like all these things that just make me feel better, like less icky. If you've listened to any of my stuff, you would understand how powerful it is to me for like the value of like getting ready for my mentality. Anyways, um, definitely still a bit out of it, but that's to be expected. I keep forgetting that like, lol, I just got surgery and yeah, I'm having pain. Um, I, they can't give me a nerve block for the procedure because of monitoring for compartment syndrome, which is a uh, side effect of getting a surgery like this. So I'm feeling it, I'm feeling the pain, but we're making it by. My sweet mother also brought me sweet cream and I have no appetite. That's a common side effect of the pain meds, but I know that if I don't eat, I'm just gonna feel worse and in more pain, so. We're gonna do the smart thing. And I can say that they gave me this like little patch that like helps with nausea because the last time I had surgery, I was so sick, Meant, like just nauseous. So I'm very grateful that I'm feeling good. I'm going to force myself to eat while I'm still feeling good. Hi guys and good morning. I spent the night in the hospital to monitor my symptoms through the night and uh, I had a great time, all things considered. My nurses are so nice here. I've had like 12 people just like constantly like being at my beck and call and they're all just so sweet and good to me. So I'm very grateful for that. And I also am really grateful that I was basically able to sleep through the night and I didn't get nauseous because um, the last time I had surgery, I didn't sleep at all and I was throwing up everything I ate. But, so anyways, I'm glad about that. I did, however, have to get woken up um, every three to four hours to take some painkiller medicine um, by protocol. And um, yeah, I'm in pain. <laughs> you probably can imagine. But um, for the surgery, I can get a nerve block, which is what you normally would use to take away the really bad pain on day one of the surgery. Um, but because of risks that come with this surgery, you're, they recommend that you don't go on the nerve block. So I'm feeling the pain, but I was able to sleep through it, which was huge. This is my little setup. We got some of them. We got chairs. We got, wow, I can do it guys. And then we got this little like setup over here. I also got permission this morning to change out of like the hospital gown and put on real clothes. And I did like my makeup and I did face wash. I had some caffeine, I played good music. I did my morning routine just like in the hospital, which is why I love my morning routine so much. And if you want to learn more about it, check out uh, my video that was posted about my getting ready with me um, footage. But anyways, feeling so much better having got real clothes and like just like washing my face if you know what I mean um and one thing I started feeling really lightheaded while I was brushing my teeth it's a common side effect of like the intense pain medication and also not having really been able to eat or drink all that much so uh now I'm chowing on some Cheerios and it's helping so that's good but yeah I've kind of just been chilling Maybe I should do some homework, considering I missed the first two days of classes, but I don't, I don't think so. <laughs> so for now, I'm just waiting for my breakfast to come and then uh, the hospital physical therapist to come visit me and give me the rundown of what my life is going to look like, um, at least once I leave the hospital in terms of weight bearing, crutches, boot, lifestyle stuff, all that jazz. Um, hoping that they like, one, stick to what they told me originally, which was that I wouldn't need crutches and that the boot was just for comfort. And then secondly, hoping that I'm allowed to swim with a buoy as soon as my stitches are dissolved, but I'll have to wait and see for that, I guess. All of this to say is that my hospital experience so far has been so much better than ever before. And I'm actually kind of having a decent time. The breakfast of champions. <laughs> yeah, cause like, you may not feel like eating after surgery, but you still got to. Side note, my voice is so raspy, guys, and I kind of like it. 
it spices it up a little bit. It's because when I was getting surgery, they had to like insert um, a tube for oxygen and it like scratches your throat. And now I'm like talking to the nurses like, <laughs> Checking back in, it is currently 1.03 p.m. and um, I'm doing pretty well. I met with a physical therapist and with my surgeon and both which were great and happy with how things are looking for my legs so far. Um, I'm very excited to say that I won't be needing to use crutches or walk or anything like that. I can just walk with the boot and it's painful. This whole injury surgery is painful, I know that, but I'm, it's getting better by the minute. Or at least I tell myself that, so I'm excited about that. And I'm here for three more hours just to have one last checkup with the surgeon and physician. And hopefully, if all things go well, I'm free to leave this hospital because I've been in this bed since 5.30 yesterday morning. Not to be that kid, but just to talk about my pain. Um, I've never been in so much pain that I'm literally shivering when I try to stand, but that's what we're working with right now. Really only my knee hurts because when they did the surgery, they cut in right here and then they inserted the rod down my leg. So I have like a huge big incision right above my knee and then some smaller incisions down my shin. The reason they had to go above my knee as opposed to below it is because I'm 5'2", short, so that was like the smarter thing to do. But yeah, so my shin and my ankle feel great or like at least like they don't bother me, but my knee, guys. Ugh. Ordered some more sweet green for lunch. Four hours later. Freedom! Yes! Out of the hospital, boys! We're going home! Well, my mom's picking up my medicine from CVS, but I'm going home today! I'm so excited! And my knee is very sore. My body is very sore. I'm very out of it. But I am just so incredibly grateful to um, have been able to get the surgery and to have had the best care staff and to have stayed the night with no issues and wake up no issues and I'm being cleared to go home. And my thought is I might actually be going back to college tomorrow, which is crazy because I'm in pain, but I also like miss my friends and I have classes and etc. So very excited to uh, get back to campus. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this little surgery vlog i thought it would be helpful and important because when i was trying to do research on my own injury and the surgery that would come with it i found nothing online so hopefully this vlog is helpful for people who might be in my shoes or hopefully it's just entertaining if you've never been injured before and you like following me and my little meanish adventures so yeah that's all i have to say thanks for being here i love y'all and uh yeah stay tuned for more